My name is Robbie and I'm in China teaching English in Chengdu. Uh, my first experience, I went to Hong Kong first and it was probably it was really hot and I put all my, my warm clothes on so that I didn't have to put them in my suitcase and um, I ended up getting outside of the train station. Uh, like, I took the train for summer and um, I got into the area where I needed to go, where my hospital was and um, I got out and I suddenly was hit by this huge gust of air, really warm air and I felt like I was going to faint or something. I was like, this has to be like air conditioning, this has to be air conditioning but it was just the normal hour, I was completely shocked by how hot it was. Um, I work for a company called Learning Tree International. Um, they run um, a course in conjunction with Oxford University Press in, uh, for children aged 6 to 10 where they teach them phonics and develop their reading ability. I've liked pretty much everything about being in China I and mean, it's been a really good adventure. I've done a lot of travelling, I've seen a lot of areas, especially around here. Chengdu is a brilliant place to go to see kind of old style Chinese things. And as well as travelling, I've uh, met some great people. Um, I've, had, I've eaten things which I thought I would never eat in my life. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's just a lot of new experiences really. That's, the well, my first piece of advice would be do it. <laughs> Make sure that you read up about things on the internet first because if you come and you're not aware of what's going on around you and what to expect then you're probably going to uh, run into kind of like a culture shock. So if you if you do a bit of reading up on things, but some things you can't get here which you can get in England um, so you're going to want to maybe bring some of that with you.